to the space real quick. This Polysanto is actually my first time using it. I usually use a uh, sage. Got to cleanse a little bit. It smells actually good. I think I'm doing this right. <laughs> So, y'all was here for my last video, I told y'all that I was going to be talking about uh, energy, frequency, and vibration today. Um, and I also wanted to bring up uh, the seven laws of the universe by, uh, according to the Kabbalion, Hermetic Philosophy. Let me get this lit. Fully lit. <laughs> All right, I think I got got it pretty good now. All right. All right. So <clears throat> we're gonna bring up uh, gender. Gender is a uh, male and female, or or no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not male and female. That's what we got confused in uh gender which is masculine and feminine uh the masculine would be your frequency uh a straight line a linear like how we're straight our phallus is you know straight and a, a female's vagina is circle you know uh, so the feminine is curved and then the masculine is uh straight like a linear and when you put these two together you get the curve i mean the linear and the curve you form energy okay so the more you look at everything as frequency and vibrations because everything is vibrating nothing is still according to the hermetic uh philosophy so yeah um you want to let's let me tell y'all about the seven laws first so that way y'all can kind of have some kind of idea on what's going on um so we got mentalism mentalism is basically saying that the universe is mental all the things from the universe you made up in your mind is what the hermetic saying which is pretty trippy because it all does come from inside your, your thoughts, your head. Uh, then we have correspondence, which is uh, as above, so below. Vibration, nothing rests, nothing stands still. Uh, rhythm, everything flows out and in. Everything has its ties. All things rise and fall. Uh, polarity, everything is dual. Everything has poles. Everything has its pairs of opposites. Uh, cause and effect. Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law. Uh, and gender. Gender is everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Gender manifests on all planets. So the boy and the girl, or the, the man and the woman, uh, these are genders according from the masculine and feminine. But when we came into form, we put the titles on of... Uh, a boy or a girl or whatever um uh, so and uh next this this weekend coming up i should be getting the ring light and a couple other things to make my video a little bit more bright and you know get more active with y'all a little bit 
So this can correlate to the three heavens as well, and I'll break that down for y'all. And I do have a little bit of notes uh, so I can show y'all a little bit. And I know it's hard to see, but I'll be fixing all that soon, so don't worry. Um, so on the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension, because remember I told y'all on last one, there's three heavens. There's the one, two, and third dimension, the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and the seventh, eighth, and ninth. Okay, we're on the first, second, and third right now. So I wonder why this goes out. I'm trying to keep it lit for at least two, three minutes. Let me get it back. I like the smell, kinda. So we're gonna start from the top, seven, eighth, and ninth dimension, and come down because that's how it happens. And but everybody thinks you start here and go up. I mean, you do do that, but you came from up. <laughs> you got to get back up there. So. Oh, let me show you all this selenite uh, tower that I got. It's awesome. I'm going to have to Google how to light a ding. Uh, Polisanto. <laughs> Thought you just light it up. I'm sure you do. Oh, I actually have it charging outside right now. So I'll show y'all that later. <laughs> All right. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so we got see the little the little spiral. That's where you come in. That's the spirit, the soul, the all in one, one in all. Uh, this is where you become aware uh, and individual. Uh, this is birth, actual birth. Uh, this is a space within a space. Remember, this is seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension. The elements, when you're using this during ritual giving birth. So the spiral is how you, like, the form that you bring to come about a being or an individual or a spirit or soul. Uh, and then we go... And to the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, which is the star or the pinnacle. Uh, this is where you, you realize this is where life comes to be. This is where you form the mind. Uh, this is where thoughts and feelings and other individuals come into play. Okay. And then we got the first, second, and third dimension, which is uh, it's a circle with a dot in the middle. That's death. Okay, this is where you come in the body because you have to die in order to go to the next stage, the next awareness. Um, and you don't die. Energy doesn't die. It just uh, transmutes. It transforms. It goes on. It moves. It, energy can't die. It only transforms. Okay? So back to the masculine and feminine. Um so your left brain is your masculine, your left brain masculine, your masculine brings out your actions, your, your, your thoughts, your actions, and your feminine side is your right side, your emotions and things of that matter. And I do have some notes here uh, that I want to go over. Let me find it real quick. Um, about the... Uh, the masculine and feminine. I actually have something that y'all might be really interested in and in trying yourselves. Uh, it's called uh, the number pillar system. And I'll show it to you. And I'm pretty sure y'all going to be able to see this one clear because I root it pretty nice and stuff. So let me see. One second. Oh, and I do want to go over some stuff that I got from my man, Dolo, the pilot man. He's on YouTube. I highly recommend y'all watching him. 
uh, I got actually the number pillar system from him. And I also wanted to talk to y'all about on the next video about um, like how certain spirits attach to you. That like this is why you get certain reactions and responses to certain things. Like when you get mad, when you get sad, when you're glad, all these certain things um, come from different spirits that attach to you. And I'll show you why and how they happen and how to, you know, avoid them or get rid of them and stuff like that. So this is the number system. One, four, seven. On the masculine, the middle pillar, remember from the tree of life, these are all the same. Severity, mercy, equilibrium, okay? Um, the medium, and then the feminine, the, the, the two, five, and eight. The medium is three, six, and nine, okay? So we have, uh, hold on. We have for the one, four, and seven, the left hand path action, that's what they call it, the left path which is the severity of the masculine, uh, but is the all mother, the mother that bring it, brought in form. This is a little bit confusing, but I will break it down for you. And the more you dive deep into it, this is just getting me kind of getting y'all into the basics, my YouTube channel. If you want to dive more deep into it, join my community and we actually do practice and talk more deep in the detail about these things. This is more of just the theory from other people's subjects and my own so all right one four and seven the masculine is fire okay light 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 day thought expand plug cord okay plug cord left brain masculine all right then we got the feminine the right brain which is being righteous, okay? Two, five, and eight. Water, dark, night, filling, con contract, and power socket. So remember, the masculine is the plug cord, the plug cord, and the feminine is what holds the, the power, the power socket. Plug cord, power socket, okay? The middle pillar, three, six, and nine. Three being your reality, earth, the third dimension. Six, thoughts and feelings being the sixth dimension. And then ninth being the sky, the heavens, the whatever you want to call it, clouds or whatever, the planets, okay? So for this one, we have air, earth, heaven, men, beasts, natures, instincts, equilibrium, completion, creature, or character. Okay? So this can kind of help you, like, know what, what happens on the left side of your brain and what happens on the right side of your brain. And there's a lot of other things that can, you know, that they have tied into it, like uh, the yin and yang, light and dark, masculine and feminine, you know, these are all aspects of the same thing, okay? So <clears throat> I'm gonna leave y'all off with this note. The, just always think of this, your left brain, Your left brain, I'm trying to see a good way to put it. So let's say the left and right brain are your parents, okay? And then you have the subconscious, which is you're not fully aware of. Your conscious mind is fully aware of the five senses, you know, touch, smell, hear, taste, and all that. And then when you get your subconscious, this is like realms that you, you know, it soaks up all the memory, everything you see, everything you learn, it stores it there. You know, and it brings it by forth when you need it or when, you know, the time is right. But there is a way to tap into this, and this is called infinite intelligence. What we have going on every day in all our thought forms is finite minds. When you close your eyes and you tap into your subconscious mind, this is infinite intelligence. Remember this. This brings you anything you need to know. Anything you want to know is there. You just have to tap into it. Okay? So... 
Left brain, right brain, your parents, okay? Your parents have to teach the kids what to do. Your kids are the subconscious mind, okay? You say, hey, I want to make a, fillion, a million bucks, okay? You, you will start affirming this. Your kids know that you want to make a million bucks now, okay? And they bring about ways of how to, they're not going to give you the million bucks, but they're going to show you ways and bring people in your life to manifest that million bucks. And the more you tell your kids how you're going to get this million bucks and the way that you see yourself getting this million bucks, the more it manifests, okay? The more you're, you're the pilot and you're teaching, you're, you're stirring the ship, okay? So you have to show it which way to go, all right? And thanks to thanks uh, to Power of the Subconscious Mind book because they taught me a lot about your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is your healer. Think about it. When you go to sleep and you still breathe, you're not conscious of this, but you're still doing it. When you cut your finger, it heals. Your subconscious does that. You don't do like you do do that, but your subconscious is the one putting in the work to do that. All right. So. That's what I wanted to leave on and just, you know, start looking at everything's in, in frequency and, and vibrations and energy and you'll start revealing secrets to how everything's happening, how everything works, the nature of things, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that's all for today. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Have a good one. I'll see you all next time. Bye.